Hello, welcome to St. Lucia Linen. I'm Nicholas Barnard, the Managing Director. Here we do our part for renewable energy. Please come in and take a look. St. Lucia Linen is an industrial laundry plant. I started this plant in 1990. When we started this plant, we were consuming bunker C fuel um, for our boilers to produce steam. However, we soon realized that um, bunker C was both expensive and that the supply would stop. In fact, the supply did stop in 1994 and we were forced to look for alternative fuels. At that time, we started uh, looking at garage oil and waste oil. And we've now been producing biodiesel for a couple of years and we use it to fuel our fleet of tankers. We're able to produce about a thousand liters of biodiesel a week. All of these tanks here are mineral oil and we take that mineral oil we centrifuge it, we dewater it, and we're able to use that to run in our boilers, okay? However, the cooking oil, we basically centrifuge it, put it into this machine, it goes through a process, a chemical process, and we create biodiesel for the trucks. So we're creating two products here. We're creating a product for our boiler to make steam for the laundry, and we're creating a product for our trucks. This resource was other people's waste. In fact, it was going into crab holes and gutters and rivers, and we're now using it to the financial benefit of the island and uh, the people as a whole. Sanusha Linen is proud to have worked with the Sanusha Solid Waste Management Authority over the years, and also with the Ministry of Sustainable Development. Hand in hand, we have taken this laundry and we've developed it into one of the finest in the Eastern Caribbean. And uh, the only downside, I think, perhaps, is uh, that when our trucks pass, you may take the smell of fried chicken. Brought to you by the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Energy, Science and Technology in partnership with the CARICOM Secretariat and the Carbon War Room's 10 Island Challenge. We've got the power.